February is Black History Month. Tonight, 2822, Eyewitness News reporter Mark Hiller tells us how local historians are now working to honor a local man who played a significant role in black history, but has not received any recognition until now. Gentlemen who served in the Massachusetts 54th are all buried right here. Wilkes-Barre City Cemetery contains the grave sites of several brave black soldiers who served during the Civil War. Their graves are adorned with markers and flags. Right next to them, there's no marker for them, is where a man named Henry Brown is buried. He was not a soldier. Brown was a free black man in the 19th century, a Wilkes-Barre businessman who in secret served as a conductor of the Underground Railroad. Most of the leaders of the, of, of the Underground Railroad were white. But this is a black leader and a local Wilkesbury black leader. Brown helped southern slaves find their freedom at points north. He and other Underground Railroad conductors endured great risk in the years before slavery was abolished in 1865. They were breaking the present law there, but to them, they had a higher moral ground to advocate for the freedom of slaves. Brown would travel in a covered wagon and transport runaway slaves from a pickup point in Harrisburg. He'd harbored them in the cellar of his home that no longer exists on East Northampton Street near Wilkesbury Boulevard. The revelation came about in a book called African Americans in the Wyoming Valley, 1778 to 1990. It was written by Emerson Irving Moss, the uncle of Constance Wynne. Everything that he's written in here came from some human being who lived in Wilkesbury. While she grew up hearing the stories about slavery, people were running. People were scared. She never heard that Henry Brown was buried at Wilkesbury City Cemetery and that his grave had no marker. I said, you have got to be kidding me. Kathleen Smith broke that news to her. I found the article by accident. As regent of the Shawnee Four chapter of Daughters of the American Revolution, Smith became a cemetery sleuth of sorts to track down the plot number of where Brown was buried. The DAR is about historic preservation, education, and patriotism, and this falls right under historic preservation. It doesn't necessarily just mean American Revolution. Anything with history, I'm, I'm, we're happy to, happy to help with. It's not known if Henry Brown ever had a grave marker, but when Brooks, Wynn, Smith, and others determined that there was no marker here, they decided that had to change. So for starters, they put these flowers and a solar light at the cemetery plot so it would be easy to find. Then they came up with the design for the grave marker. It depicts a covered carriage driver and explains Brown's role in the Underground Railroad. I cried. I, I cried when I first saw it. Wynn's group, Rediscovering Ancestry Through Culture and Education, or RACE, made a contribution to purchase the grave marker, a tribute she and others consider long overdue for a man who risked so much for the sake of others who shared the color of his skin. I mean, if he were here, I would gladly shake his hand and thank him profusely and but, but you, it was all done in secret, it was all hiding. The marker will be placed at Brown's gravesite this summer to mark the anniversary of his passing. It's just such a wonderful feeling to, to know that a human being who risked his life and the lives of the people that he was taking will be honored so lovely. I hope he's looking down on us that day. In Wilkesbury, Mark Hiller, 2822 Eyewitness News. Incredible history there, and we invite you folks to join us for a special presentation honoring black history, sharing our stories. This Thursday, 7 p.m. WIOU, and at noon on Saturday and Sunday, WBRE.